Hello guys and welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching Die Hard. This movie came out in 1988. And ever <laughs> since we've watched uh, Robocop recently, we've been craving another cool 80s action flick. Because man, yes. Robocop <laughs> was awesome. Definitely loved it. And it surpassed all of my expectations. Hell yeah. It really was such a great time. And we were like, we were sitting down and we were like, you know, we have Die Hard on the schedule. Let's just do it, man. Let's, Let's just, just watch Die it. Hard and kind of get, the, Hell yeah. you know, fill up those cravings with some awesomeness and some Bruce Willis. But yeah, super excited to see Die Hard. I know a lot of people love this franchise. Yeah, I mean, um, I've heard really good things in general about the franchise. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the action's supposed to be really good. I heard that Bruce Willis's character is supposed to be really likable. Interesting thing. So while we were doing our research, we found out this little detail that apparently there's a debate going on whether Die Hard is a Christmas movie or not. I'm very confused about that, but I figure we settle that i think yeah debate, i think we should settle that debate right? in the comments down below <laughs> is this a christmas movie or is it not Right. Let us know, and, and this <laughs> channel will be the first one to answer that question for the rest of humanity out there. Yes. So they can come in and be like, oh yeah, it absolutely is, or no, it's it's really not. Yeah, super excited <laughs> for this, guys. Thank you for joining us in this reaction. We hope that you enjoy. Like and subscribe if you enjoy it, and we'll yeah. catch you guys after the movie. Take care. See ya. What a legend, Bruce Willis, man. I know. He's amazing. Oh. oh. Air Marshal? Trust me. Been doing this for 11 years. <laughs> <laughs> so sassy. Classical music slaps, dude. I was just about to make the same comment. <laughs> Making this one of the greatest years in the history of the Nakatomi Corporation. The Nakatomi Corporation. We thank you one and all and wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy New Year. There you okay. go. So it's a set in Christmas time. Okay. That's starting to make sense. Actually, I was thinking more of mulled wine, a nice aged brie, Ooh, and a I love roaring fireplace. Wine. You know what I'm saying? Netflix and chill, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some mulled wine on the yeah. side. <laughs> Baby girl. <laughs> Lucy McLean speaking. Hello, Lucy McLean. This is your mother speaking. Mommy! Aww. Aww. Daddy coming home with you. Well, we'll see what Santa and Mommy can do, okay? Put Pauline on. Bye, honey. So dad is a busy guy, huh? Yeah. Um, it might be a good idea to make up the spare bedroom just in case. See, Mrs. Holly, I do that already. Spare um, bedroom? Okay. They're not together anymore? Marriage on the rocks, huh? Hmm. I mean, you can see that they were both, like, individually flirting with other people, kind of, so... Yeah, it makes sense. Hmm. Now we just need a traumatic experience to bring them back together. Exactly. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> That's just salt on the wound. It's my first time driving a limo. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's my first time riding in one. There you go. New experiences for both of them. Exactly. Hey, come on. You divorced? You separated? <laughs> she beat you up? <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Why'd you come with her, man? What's up? Because I'm a New York cop. Ah. Uh... You thought she wasn't gonna make it out here, and she'd come crawling up back to you, so why bother to back, right? <laughs> Yo. Yo. Sure, you're very fast, Argon. <laughs> <laughs> you might have weird some too. Damn. He is a New Yorker, man. What's a New Yorker? That's it, that's home. Uh, I mean, other places just feel too slow. You score, you give me a call on the car phone. I'll take your bags to the desk. You strike out, I'll get you a hotel. That's He's a so solid nice. guy. Yeah. That's really nice. Just remember that when you sign for the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Copy that. That's sweet, though. Our he's guy a, is a man. Yeah, he's a good wingman. I'm here to see Holly McLean. Just type it in there. Cute toy. <laughs> you have to take a leak. It'll even help you find your zipper. Oh, help you find your zipper? Man, that's high tech. Where is it? <laughs> it's like... <gasps> <laughs> yep. Oh! Ooh, ouch. They're the only ones left in the building. Take the express elevator. Get off where you hear the noise. Damn. That's rough, man. He's just finding all of this out now. I know. Just how bad it is. Oof. She, yeah, she's gone one foot out the door already. Damn, it's crazy. He just managed to go up like that. No signing in, nothing. How is she going to react when she sees him here at this party? Hey! Merry Christmas! Hey, yo! <laughs> He's like, what the hell? I don't even know you, man. Holly went to the vault room to fax some documents. She should be back any minute. 
In the meanwhile, her office is right back here. It Alice. still hurts. Oh, God. Alice is in charge of international development. It's like, what were you doing back there, buddy? Huh? Miss something. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, <laughs> didn't work out, so we got you with tape decks. <laughs> <laughs> My God, his laugh was so annoying. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Hi, honey. I'm home. Show him the watch. Well, go on, show him. What are you embarrassed? It's just a small token of appreciation for all our hard work. It's a Rolex. Damn, a Rolex. Jesus. Is there a place where I could wash up? Sure. Nah, there's still feelings there. They just yeah. need to talk it out already. Yeah. This exactly. is not a cold reunion, you know? There's right. still some feelings. Some longing deep in the eyes. I love the way they're setting this up. I could be in the car half the time. Why don't we make it easy? I have a spare bedroom. Yeah, come on. Yeah. You should stay, Kids man. I'd love to have you at the house. I would have. I would too. Oh, guys. Come on. Whoop. <laughs> Office parties, man. Always the same thing. <laughs> Not enough offices. <laughs> I missed you. Aww. Aww. You guys can make it work. Come on, they man. They can make it work. Come LA on. ain't that bad. Change your idea of what our marriage should be. I don't think you have a clue as to what my idea of I our marriage exactly should be. I know exactly what your idea of our marriage should be. Mr. Nerlai. Ow. Okay, yeah, they need oh, to talk this out. Damn, okay. I mean, maintaining a long-distance relationship like that, it's- I'm sure it's tough. Uh-oh. Trouble music is on. Yeah, it's the villainous. You gotta be way more alert than that, man. Come on. If something is, uh, out of the norm... Right? Boom! Two points. Two points? And just like that... We're in. Oh, wow. Okay, this is happening fast. I'm assuming they're doing it today because there's less people in the tower, correct? Yeah. It would be easier. I love just how charismatic the villains were in the 80s. I know. I was just thinking about that, too. Even how they're dressed. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my God. Ah. Is that like a flashbang? I guess so. I was very confused by what that was. Look at hey! that gang! Charisma everywhere. Man, I love the long trench coats and stuff. Damn, this movie has some really nice watches. He also <laughs> has some pretty nice watch. A pretty nice watch. Yeah. You think that the limo driver is still there? He he was parked, so he was waiting. Da -da 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 -da. Just making Got sure. Got it. I wonder what they're after. Money, I'm gonna presume. I mean, they always do it for I money, guess right? So. Or maybe it's a personal vendetta. Ooh. I love those tracking shots. Oh, he's speaking in German. Very nice. Some handheld. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Good Super job, man. Super works. Testing the theory out, you know? Aww. Aww. Oh, they're gonna cut communications, I'm assuming, from the tower to the exterior. Nine, 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 Bob, no, He's like, no, 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 wait, not yet. Thank you, translator. Oh, <laughs> so they can't call the cops once they yeah. start realizing that something is off. Exactly, they'll be stuck. And this is before the time of, uh, Cell phones. But the cab, the, the, the limo guy has a phone, so maybe, just maybe. Yeah, that could be a nice little potential way out. Ooh. Oh, damn. Just like that? Oh, that is terrible. And his wife is in there? Oh. Hey, yo. Worst timing ever, man. I know. You couldn't have given them a couple minutes. <laughs> He's so barefoot. Oh, no. I love how quickly he swooshed into action. Yeah. He just got up and his training starts kicking in. And the experience. Yeah. You're on your own, man. 
Due to the Nakatomi Corporation's legacy of greed around the globe, they're about to be taught a lesson in the real use of power. What a voice. <laughs> what a presence. He's great. In Kyoto, 1937. Family emigrated to San Pedro, California in 1939. Damn, he's got his entire background. Wow. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> so menacing. I Very... love that. With elegance, too. Uh, yeah. You know? so, so graceful. Yeah. Nice suit. John Phillips, London. I have two myself. <laughs> He's good. He is good. Really good. He just recognized a suit like that? Yep. He's a smart guy. Is that a guided missile? What? That's what it said, right? Yeah. What the hell? These guys came in with the big toys. Any information you could get when they wake up in Tokyo in the morning, they'll change it. You won't be able to blackmail our executive threat and our profit. Sit down. It's like, whatever it is, man, they got it covered, clearly. Yeah. They look like they know what they're doing. Because I am interested in the $640 million in negotiable bearer bonds that you have locked in your vault. He just Got wants it, the money. Yeah. There you go. Okay. What kind of terrorist are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who said we were terrorists? <laughs> exactly. They're just yeah. a very organized crime group yeah, that wants some dough. Thieves. Yep. This is a heist for them. It's a very nice suit. Mr. Takagi, to be ashamed to ruin it. <laughs> yeah, that's a threat, man. In case. Yep. I'm two. Should probably start telling him the code, man. But I'm telling you, you're just gonna have to kill me. Okay. <gasps> oh. Oh yeah, he's not playing around. You can dispose of that, Carl. You better go and check on Heinrich's work up on the machine floor. He's a man of his word too. He never said he was gonna say a four. He's like, all right. You don't have the number, you're not useful to me. You can break the code. You didn't bring me along for my charming personality. <laughs> <laughs> so he's good with computers. Designated hacker. You heard the shots. You're calling the police right now. Of course I'm still coming by late. <laughs> no, he's just surviving. <laughs> Damn. Damn. This keeps on going. Yep. <laughs> for the five mechanicals at the minimum. The seventh lock, however, is out of my hands. So what, that's like a manual lock? The final one? They're gonna have to break that open? Damn, look at that vault. Ooh. Where the fuck didn't you stop him, John? Cause then you'd be dead too, asshole. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, you did the yes. right call. <laughs> ah. Call 911. Give them the guard's name, the building code number, and cancel the alarm. Then disable the system. Wow. Matt, should we go? Yeah, they're gonna go look for him right now, aren't they? Hopefully he's smart enough to move to a different floor now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stupid. oh no! Oh man. They got the big guns, man. He just has yeah. a <laughs> one gun. These guys are running full automatic. Oh, that's not great. No one is coming to help you. Guess he's just gonna have to do it himself. I promise I won't hurt you. <laughs> yeah, as he <gasps> right <laughs> cocks his gun. I know. Yeah, nice. Oh, the sound design is great. <laughs> it is so good. You won't hurt me because you're a policeman. There are rules for policemen. That's what my captain keeps telling me. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Nice. Get him, man. Hand-to-hand <laughs> 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 -hand combat now, baby. Oh, no. Down the stairs they go. Wait, did he accidentally break his neck? I was thinking the same thing. Is he dead? He's like, not again. I know, it's like... Nine million terrorists in the world and I gotta kill one with feet smaller than my sister. <laughs> <laughs> no shoes for you, man. He's got a gun now, though. True. A fully automatic gun. They're leveling, leveling up the playing field here. 
I've watched too many horror movies. <laughs> Just expect him to get split in half. Alas, your Mr. Takagi did not see it that way, so he won't be joining us for the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not lying. That's so funny. Um, oh dear. Remember, we have left nothing to chance. <laughs> no, I ho, ho, much. ho. Great way to steer the attention to him instead of these civilians, right? Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. That is great. I love that Alan Rickman could even make ho, ho, ho sound badass. And out of sight. I don't want the hostages to think too much. I don't know how the client is or how it comes that accent is really not good. I know I'm... Anyway, he was just telling him, he's like, you, you have to come down immediately. Oh, nice! Very nice. Oh shit, but is it gonna stop? Wait, is no. it actually nice? <laughs> oh, <gasps> what the hell? I was saying nice because of the way that was shot, how it looked almost like... <laughs> One thing was going down as the camera was going up. Yes. Such a cool effect. <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> Double take. He's like, wait, yeah, was... I still got time. <laughs> Look at those. <laughs> John. <laughs> <laughs> she already knows. Oh, Christ, he can fuck this whole thing up. What does he think he's doing? His job. Bullshit. His job's 3,000 miles away. He's a man of yeah. integrity. He takes the job with him. Yeah, of course. It's not just like, not my circus, not my clowns, you know? Six or more armed with automatic weapons at Nakatomi Plaza, Century City. That's the best place to transmit. Somebody answer me, goddammit! The roof. Yeah, he's yeah. too smart. He, yeah. He's, they're one step ahead, but they can still figure out fairly quickly yeah. what he's trying to do. This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. No fucking shit, lady! Do I sound like I'm ordering pizza? <laughs> Doesn't sound like I'm ordering pizza. For real, what the hell? She, he literally just said that there's terrorists in the building. Oh my god. Otherwise, I'll have to report this as an FCC Bro, what? violation. Why report me, come the fuck down here and arrest me. Just send the police now. How is she so nonchalant about it? This is reserved for emergencies. Uh, this is yeah, an emergency. Yeah, I know. Literally. Oh shit. What the? Oh. oh. I'm like, wait. Oof. They're cornering him. Come on, John. By the way, I love his attitude. He's he's great. Yes, I, <laughs> he is awesome. Such a badass. Such a badass. I love how that's shot. That's great. I love how resourceful this one guy is. Yeah. Like, it's a one-man army. Damn, last minute. He is so competent, though. Like, he figured it out with the fan, with the elevator. That's, that's awesome. He keeps getting away just by a little bit. Yeah. Just enough to keep himself alive. <laughs> Shit, where the fuck is That's so high, man. I'd, I'd be having some vertigo. I like the heights, but not when I'm not, like, not fastened to anything yes. like he is. Well, it's gonna make a lot of noise. It's oh. a very long drop, man. <laughs> that took way too long. He's using that as an anchor. Ooh, He's using that as an anchor. Dude, dude, you're gonna die. You gotta be ballsy to do that. <laughs> I wouldn't tell her. Fuck these people. I was just putting a out. lot of trust on that stock. <laughs> I know. He'll be neutralized. No, they're out for blood. They want him. It's personal. I mean, it makes sense. Ah, uh, it's slipping. Please, for the love of Christ. No. <laughs> My palms are sweating already. Yo, facts. <laughs> Come on, please. Oh! <gasps> oh. Ooh. Fuck. That was very close, though. Now I'm pissed off, though, because he lost his machine gun. But he's alive. It's probably That's better secondary. to be. <laughs> <laughs> what a great shot. I love that. The POVs. The conditioning, too. Just by showing us how much he's been crawling, like crawling like yeah, that, it, it yeah. takes a lot of work, man. And being able to lower yourself down like that is also a tremendous amount of upper body strength and core. Oh! Right on top of him. Quick triangle! <laughs> Stealth kill! <laughs> oh. Is that an AUG he's using? Looks like an AUG. Kyle, come on, 
Ach, los, Carl, die Polizei. He's like, come on, man, the police. Yeah, he's not gonna shoot because the other guy is right there. Stealth mission is still in stealth mode. <laughs> Your cover has not been blown yet. <laughs> well, if you think about it, it's probably for the better that he is barefoot. True. You'll be quieter that way. He's driving his car, Stevie Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, I feel bad for this guy, man. It's Christmas. He's gonna die. He's probably He's got a, a family waiting wife. for him. Oh shit! Come on, I got fifty bucks bet on him, assholes. <laughs> I love his commitment to the acting of it. <laughs> He's on thirty-four. Go hurry! <laughs> I love you. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> the subtitles have failed us, or I don't know if we're not meant to. Who is this? Oh shit! <gasps> oh! oh, oh. oh. I love how frantic the action feels. Like you're not ready for it, and then everything is just happening. Yeah. Don't hesitate. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Sorry to waste your time. I love his one liners. <laughs> his delivery amazing. is so cool, man. Yeah, that's a wild goose chase over here at Nakatomi Plaza. No. Everything here is okay. Over. Oh, let it snow. Oh! Holy shit! Thing is <laughs> what were you saying? What the hell is this? You're Welcome trying to kill to him. Party, <laughs> <laughs> Do your job well, sir. Now he's getting back up. Yeah, I know. Ooh. Oh. Oh. The cavalry is here. Tony and Marco and his friend here. I figured you and Carl and Franco might be a little lonely, so I wanted to give you a call. I love that. He's just teasing them. The fly in the ointment, Hearns. The monkey in the wrench. The pain in the ass. Oh, C4. C4? Everything sees John Wayne, Rambo, Marshall Dillon. I was always kind of partial to Roy Rogers, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. Yeah! That's the line. <laughs> That's the line. Iconic line. I love it. And the other man was Heinrich. His bag is missing. He had to detonate it. Mm. <gasps> More inconvenience for you, pal. I know. Three down, four to go. And don't waste time talking to me. He's doing pretty good, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I read you, pal. You the guy in the car? What's left of him? <laughs> I'm waiting for the FBI to arrive until then he can waste as much time as he likes, but we must find the bag. He's waiting for the FBI to arrive. Yeah. I'm gonna assume that's part of his plan? I'm assuming so. These guys are mostly European, judging by their clothing labels and... What now? They're well financed and very slick. Well, now how do you know that? I've seen enough phony IDs in my time to recognize that the ones they got must have cost a fortune. He's really good at his job. Yeah, that's so impressive. Call me... Roy. Roy? <laughs> In the meantime, I want you to find a safe place to hold up and let us do our job. Understand? They're all yours, Al. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. This guy's no, gonna... No, there's no way. He's already done so much for them. He's definitely gonna keep helping. Yeah, 100%. Oh, wow. Look at that truck. Jesus! LAPD Mobile Emergencies. Powell, has it occurred to you he could be one of the terrorists pulling your chain? Or some nutcase in there? I don't think so, sir. Nah, man, come on. He's a cop. Maybe not LAPD, but he's definitely a badge. Oh, good call. Things he said, like mm. being able to spot a phony ID. Jesus Christ, Powell. Give me a fucking bartender for all we know. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I mean, they do deal with to phony fair, IDs too, yeah, so it could get, be a bartender, I guess. Yeah, you, you get better at seeing which ones are fake or not. When you murdered my boss, now everybody's looking to me. Personally, mm. I pass on the job. I don't enjoy being this close to you. I like your sass. Me too. Was there something else? No, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, she got so lucky. Yeah. That that photo is down. Yeah. Mr. Takagi chose his people well, Mrs. Gennaro. Miss Gennaro. Well, they don't know what he looks like yet either, right? 
So I don't think, I mean, everybody that's seen him is dead already. So. Yeah, that's true. Well, eventually they will make the connection, I'm sure. Ceiling there you off go. all entrances and exits. He's like, wait, He's what? Like, say what? Strange building. Unit five, hold your position at the main entrance. All right, guys, this is what we got. We got Charlie unit in position. I mean, at this point, the police are already here. He would have been much useful, of much more use before. Man, that's crazy. There could be over 30 hostages in there for all we know. They got hostages, yeah. man. If there's hostages, how come nobody's come to us with ransom demands, huh? The amount of incompetence. It's probably some stockbroker got depressed. We're ready for you, Chief. All right. Man, the what? mental gymnastics I you swear. gotta do. I can understand maybe not taking it all at face value and being like, we don't even know if there's real hostages, but right. we're still going to go in. But at least take that into account and not make it obvious that you're going in. Yeah. Even further lockdown. Yep. Oh, man. Man, this operation is huge. Yes. We went from n not a single cop, just John, to the full like department the entire, being there. Yeah. This is going to be so bad. Get the snacks. <laughs> Do it. Let your int intrusive thoughts take over. <laughs> Sponsored by Hershey's. Or was it Crunch? Christmas and all through the house. Crunch. Yeah. Samples coming in the rear in standard. Two by two cover formation. Mm. They're going to know every single move before they make it. They can't see anything. They're shooting at the lights. Oh. Send in the car. What's the car? The car. <laughs> Batman. Ooh. <laughs> the Batmobile. Oh, yeah, they had the guided missiles. Uh, sh I don't care. Get back. Get the fuck back. They're starting to get nervous. Yeah. This is going to get more and more dangerous. Damn. Oh, what the hell is that? So I'm assuming that's the platform so they can launch the, the rocket. Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, yep. my God. The quarterback is toast. Bad all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Just like that. Crispy. Damn. You made your point. Let him pull back. Thank you, Mr. Cowboy. I'll take it under advisement. Hit it again. So you're gonna have enough time to save them while they load oh, up the oh, second man. the second missile? Fire. Oh no. No. It's all tactical, man. I was gonna say it's like yep. that strategy. You just wound them so the others come to help them out and then you get them too. They waste resources and time yeah. in the meantime. So you take this under advisement, jerkweed. Jerkweed? <laughs> What is he doing? What is that? Oh! <gasps> what? Oh, shit! Holy shit! <laughs> the C4? Shit! <laughs> Damn! Damn! Yo! Tell me you got that! I got it, I got it! <laughs> nice! The promotion is coming, man. Strangely, the Volksfrei leadership issued a communique an hour ago stating that Gruber had been expelled from that organization. Mm, damn, not even they wanted him. Are you all right? What, what was that? Remember that plastic explosive I told you about? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, we do not want your help. Is that clear? We don't want your help. You clearly need it, though. And they're covered with glass. Glass? <laughs> Who gives a shit about glass? Who the fuck yeah. is this? <laughs> This is Deputy Chief of Police Dwayne T. Robinson, and I am in charge of this situation. Don't okay. know how the fuck that happened. You listen to me, you little asshole. I'm a asshole. <laughs> I'm not the one who just got butt fucked on national TV, Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Chief. <laughs> Fucking problem. And put the other guy back on. Thank you. Oh, give us somebody competent. He just stopped talking to him. Yeah. He's like, whatever, man. You hang in there. Yeah, thanks, partner. There you go. Yeah, That's screw sweet. that guy. What the hell? Glass, man. There's yeah, people dying up here. Fucking like, glass, Got bro. 30 people up here in danger. I swear. Hope I'm not interrupting. What does he want? <laughs> it's not what I want. It's what I can give you. <laughs> Salesman 101. I know. I love those subtleties in acting. They're so, so juicy. 
It's obvious you're not some dumb schmuck up here to snatch a few purses. Am I right? You're very perceptive. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The guy upstairs is fucking things up, huh? Oh, he's going to give away the fact that it's our guy. I can give him to you. What a sleazy yeah. ass dude, man. What a prick. Because the thing is, once they know it's him, they have ammo. Because they have the wife right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Touching, cowboy. Touching. Or should I call you Mr. McLean? Oh. Uh, yeah. He's got him already, yeah? Yeah. Hey, John boy. Ellis? What an asshole. <laughs> No one gets out of here until these guys can talk to the L.A. police, and that just ain't gonna happen until you stop messing up the works, capiche? He's so douchey, it's just nauseating. I told him we were old friends and you were my guest at the party. Leave it at that. Uh -huh. Now tell these guys where the detonators are so no one else gets hurt. You know, I'm putting my life on the line for you, pal. What a douchebag. Jesus Christ, yeah. Ellis, these people are gonna kill you! Tell them you don't know me! <laughs> John, how can you say that after all these years, huh? Oh, what an idiot. Bro. He's doing this to himself this, at this point. Yeah. I like the way he turned it around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. He figured it wow. out that what he was trying to do. Did you hear that? He just let the guy die, man. He just gave him up. Give me that headset. I wonder, was that intentional? Was that part of the plan once he realized that this dude was being douchey? That he's gonna give a damn about what you do to him if he makes it out of there alive? Right, Why don't exactly. you wake up Thank and you. smell what you shoveling? <laughs> you couldn't drag me away. Attention, police. Hell yeah. You know I what? Make this, this guy. guy a chief. Yeah, I, like I know. This guy. He this guy. actually deserves to... This is Sergeant Ugh. Al Power. Uh, Oh my god, I want to punch him in the face so hard. In Northern Ireland, the seven members of the new Provo Front. In Canada, the five imprisoned leaders of Liberté de Québec. There you go. Wow. That's what he wants. I read about them in Time magazine. Oh, I see. <laughs> Just falling for time? Wow. I'm, I don't have the authority. I, I can't authorize. Two hours is not enough. Hello? 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 Well, That's exactly what they want. Have them panicking. Yeah, exactly. Looking elsewhere. Not focused on the real task at hand, yeah. Come on, John, we gotta figure this out, man. Early stages of the Helsinki syndrome. As in Helsinki, Sweden. Finland. Basically, it's... <laughs> I'm like, wait. Oh, man. <laughs> the FBI is here now. There yes, you go. Right over there. Everything is going as planned, man. Still. Agent Johnson, this is Special Agent Johnson. Oh, how you doing? No relation. There's just both Johnson. I'm Dwayne Robinson, LAPD. I'm in charge here. Not anymore. Yeah. Ooh. Probably for the better, pal. Yeah, I know. Well, we will see. Let some real professionals handle this, okay? <laughs> He's been fantastic the entire movie. His performance is great. Yes, he's such a great villain. Just steals every single frame he's in. Mm. Oh! <laughs> oh! Holy crap! How you doing? Yep, gotcha, man. Please, God, no, you're one of them, aren't you? You're one of them. No, 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 can we please, no, please? Oh, he's playing. Oh, my God. He's playing like he's a hostage. I'm not gonna hurt you! He's pretending he's a hostage. Oh, crap! He's trying to get up on the roof and see if I could signal for help, you know. Oh my god, he's so good. Come on, you want to stay alive, you stay with me. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> the wow. gun was right there. What a twist. That's quick thinking on his end. I yeah. love that. Very sharp. He might be a cop, I don't know. We're checking on that. One of yours? No, no way. One that's actually getting the job done, sir. Yep. He's gonna have to change up that iconic voice real quick. Got invited to the Christmas party by mistake. Who knew? Oh shit, John, do not give any more oh, information. No, no, please don't. Better be caught with your pants down, huh? <laughs> oh, I love this scene. Yeah, so tense. Clay. <sighs> Bill, Clay. Oh my god, you gotta oh, love the subtlety uh -huh. in the acting. Time for the real thing, Bill. Come on, John, tell me you didn't trust him immediately, right? You're not gonna give him a loaded gun. All you gotta do is pull the trigger. <laughs> that sounded like he... This might... I don't know, man. I hope he doesn't know. Like, I hope he prepared. 
He had to know. Come on, John. <laughs> He's too chill, man. <laughs> it's pretty tricky with that accent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I already used all the explosives. But did I? <laughs> did he? You'll never know. Like you did with Takagi. Oops. Ooh. Ooh, he had you. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> they both had backup plans. God damn. My god, I'm so happy they didn't make him incompetent in the final moments of this movie. Oh, oh my god. Bye bye, kneecaps. <laughs> He's a fantastic villain. Oh my god. She's Stim Fenster. Uh, shoot the window. Hmm. Ah, are they doing this so they can Whoa. hear him? Jesus, guys. It's <laughs> a lot of bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, John. I know. Smile, Carl. We're back in business. <laughs> that was a little bit over the top. I love that. The hair flip was so fabulous. Yeah, this Beyonce moment. God, that man looks really pissed. He's still alive. Only John can drive somebody that crazy. <laughs> she would know, right? I, I love, love that. It. He really is making these guys look like absolute fools. The <gasps> That's why oh, the no. glass. And the electromagnetic came down like a f***ing anvil. Really, have a look at what our friends outside are doing and I'll be right up. He seems pretty confident about that electromagnet. Yeah. What kind of odds am I getting? You don't want to know. Put me down for 20. Ow. I'm good for it. Oh, <laughs> man. That's got a sting. I had an accident. The way you drive, I can see why. <laughs> <laughs> I shot a kid. You know, when you're a rookie, they can teach you everything about being a cop except how to live with a mistake. Damn, that's rough. Damn. Yeah. That's a great line. All right, those are the city engineers. They have to be a bit more organized, right, than the LAPD. I'm sure they have all sorts of tactics. I would like to think so. Circuits that cannot be cut are cut automatically in response to a terrorist incident. You ask oh, oh, wow. The FBI. That's why he needed the feds. He knows all the protocol that's going to go down. Damn, he is hella prepared. So I got a big problem down here. Shut it down. Shut it down now. They're going to be doing Damn. them a huge favor. And now, now, talk to me. What's going on here? You hear the soundtrack? And they're yeah. running it. That's a great little detail <laughs> there. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. Oh, they did it. Shit. They got their money. Holy shit. Perfect time for some Beethoven. Oh, sick. That's pretty that's pretty epic though. I love how lie. they shoot them like they're heroes. Yeah. It's that hero shot. It is. Oh, nice shot. Ooh. I love how dynamic the camera work has been in this movie. Yeah. Everything from pans to dolly ins to yeah. these cool tilts and then the Dutch angle that you mentioned earlier. Yeah. Super dynamic. They never get comfortable with just one single method, you know? They try a little bit of everything, which is fantastic. This is Agent Johnson. No, the other one. <laughs> Damn right, fully armed. We're on the way. Fully armed heli. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, like, it doesn't have a distinctive look, but they're doing everything at the same time. They're playing jazz with the camera work, and that's just fantastic. And by the time they figure out what went wrong, we'll be sitting on a beach earning 20%. Shit. Yep, <laughs> everything is going according to plan, man. This and guy then, is just yeah. too smart. Tell her that, um, that she is the best thing that ever happened to a bum like me. <laughs> oh. John said that he was sorry. Okay? You got that, man? Yeah, I got it, John. What a great performance, man. That was a beautiful monologue. 
One no, minute. Senor. That's all I'm asking. One minute say. just to speak. No, all right, okay. all right, all right, all right. Get back, get back. No, go, oh, go, go, God. Go, 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 go. Oh, God. Oh, no, Look, God. You let me in right now, or I call the INS. Wow. What an asshole. I f hate this guy. F all right. Come on. Come on. Leech, man. Parasitic ass people, bro. I love that they got to show us um, John being a little bit more vulnerable because that just makes him more likable as a character. And I was saying actually earlier, and uh, I was replying to one of the comments saying that back in the day, people used to be more vulnerable in films. And I feel like that's why we used to relate more to them. <laughs> yes. Holy crap. That's dude. what he was up to. No. Which one is this? Oh, oh it's the this brother. Guy. He got beef. This is personal. <laughs> Oof. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's going full on. Time to gather your flock, Miss Gennaro. Shit, the news are playing right yeah. there. Come home. Oh, man. Uh, yep. Yeah. Connecting the dots. Uh. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Yep, he's got all he needs. Mm -hmm. I love how the movie did that, though. It wasn't as obvious as I was expecting it to go. A lot of moving pieces made him figure out that she was the wife. It took a while. Like, it just kept building that tension. And the entire time, you're just hoping that it doesn't come out. Oof. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Mess him up. Lose 20, 25% of the hostages. Tops. I can live with that. Oh, oh can wow. you now? That's excellent. 20 to 25 percent. That's a. It's kind of messed up, man. <laughs> yep, they're going straight to where all that C4 is. McLean, I have some news for you. McLean. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, he's uh. Yeah, he's not gonna hear you, pal. Kind of busy right now at the oh, moment, oh, but oh, you can oh. leave a message. Yeah, you can leave a message. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> nice. You're nothing but a common thief. I am an exceptional thief, Mrs. McLean. And since I'm moving up to kidnapping, you should be more polite. <laughs> he graduated. <laughs> you know? Oh, this guy's a brawler, isn't he? Yeah. Sheesh. Looks like it. <laughs> Oof. Uh, ah. <sighs> Oh! Oh wow! Another oh, neck. Shit! Oh! <gasps> Holy Yo. crap! The slag fucking Saigon! Facelift! They're having the time of their life. Yeah, I know. Oh! He made it! He made He's it! He's here too. Hell yeah! Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Go downstairs, man. Listen to him, please. They made us, Bureau. You got a terrorist shooting I say it's left. Oh, they think he's a terrorist. Oh, no. He's not the bad guy. Now that sucker. No. Get on your side, you assholes. This guy's having a rough day, man. He's fighting his own. He's fighting the bad guys. What a friggin' nightmare. What is he up to now? No way. No friggin' way. <laughs> I love how he talks to himself like, what the hell are you doing, man? This is crazy. Uh, Indeed it is. I love that he's so grumpy, too. Up in the tall building again. You gotta get out of there, man. Never again. Oh. Please jump a little bit. Ah, oh, that better hold. Oh. <laughs> oh, again, the... hanging again? by a thread. Oh, this guy's a total badass. Oof. No! <gasps> oh no! Too close. Let go. Let go of the rope. Pull it off, pull it off, pull it off. The For rope. the love of God. Mm. Oh, man. Shit. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Damn, the sound design was so good in that sequence. Yo, that shit was crazy. I can crazy. hear the wind. Ow. 
That's karma, see, for saying that you can live <laughs> with a 20%. I'm gonna need some more FBI guys, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Ah. He can't take a break, man. No, it's just endless, dude. This guy's still there. Hey, hello. Shit. Oh, he's out. Time to outsmart them again. Oh, God. Two bullets. Oh, that's not ideal. <laughs> Christmas gift. <gasps> The soundtrack is awesome. Oh, it's been incredible the entire film. It's so good. Ooh. <laughs> good job, limo driver. Not bad for a first time driver, man. I know. Oof. <laughs> He's so good proud job. of himself. I know. He's like, I did it. Look, mom. <laughs> oh. Oh, what a Dude, shot. Look at that shot. That's amazing. Jesus. Hi, honey. <laughs> he looks rough, though. Like, no shoes, no shirt, no service. It's been a rough night, man. <laughs> no. well, when you steal $600, you can't just disappear. When you steal $600 million, they will find you unless they think you're already dead. Mm, right. I see. Mine, this is mine. Now I think he's disarmed. John Wayne does not walk off into the sunset with Grace Kelly. <laughs> Scary Cooper, asshole. Enough <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. It doesn't quite sound as good. No, it doesn't have quite the same ring to it. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> She's like, oh, something's up. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, he is a cowboy. <laughs> I love that. Mm. Oh. What the hell? Oh. Sheesh. Oh. Come on, man. It's okay, cut off that her hand. That must hurt her so much. Oh. oh, shit, shit, shit. Ooh. That's it, Hans. <laughs> Slow You're a great death. villain, though. He was fantastic. Oh, I hope that's not a hossy. <laughs> nope. That's a great job. Okay, now off to the couple's counseling. Hey, yeah, man. Well, that can wait. <laughs> Get it. Get it. Pretty sure they're fixed after all that, right? I think this I is mean, better than uh, couple's counseling. Listen, he's been through hell trying to save this woman. That should earn him at least a few brownie points. I'm just gonna say this right now. This is the coolest Christmas movie ever, Dude. man. <laughs> this is... It definitely is. I can see why. Yeah. Everything from the soundtrack to the, uh... It's a lot of... Christmas snowman, miracles. Christmas trees. Yeah, exactly. This is a Christmas miracle. Yeah, that's him. Aww. Partner. You did great, man. You both did. Yeah. Good job. Not the FBI. A wonderful collaboration between the LAPD and NYPD. <laughs> Aww. Aww. That was my wife, Holly. Holly you know? Holly McLean. Aww. Aww. She said she used her last name. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. shit. What the hell? Oh, he's still whoa. alive? No, no, whoa, not the sweet the cat, please. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be the cop, isn't it? Ah, it's his arc. He did pull up. He yes! pulled out a gun on someone. But this time, evening the scores. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what now? Just the limo oh guy. Oh my god. It's gonna be like, who the hell is this guy? He's got a yeah. limo picking him up, and he's like a <laughs> NYPD officer. What are your feelings? <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I love her. Good for her. He totally deserved that punch. Did you get there? <laughs> <laughs> Aww. They get to spend Christmas Eve together. What's left of it, at least? I know. <laughs> Man, what a fantastic time. Wow. Yeah, there you go. 
they had they spent no time with the credits back no. then. Like normally it feels like it wraps up and they leave some moments to breathe. You get the aerial yeah. shot and you know it's ending, but it takes forever. Yeah. Not with these movies, man. It's like, okay, get the hell out. I yeah, hope you no. enjoyed. <laughs> man, that was such a great time. That was so It was much really, fun. really fun. I really enjoyed Bruce Willis's performance in this. Yeah. Like I mentioned in the reaction, like it's so cool to have people that are super competent. He yes. is a badass, but I love to see the imperfections in that and the vulnerabilities. I do agree with some of the people that say out there that we are getting more and more characters that just feel so perfect. Yeah. And I feel like that is part of the reason why we don't connect as much with newer characters because they just seem to be too good at everything. And it applies to most characters nowadays, especially with movies. I feel like they talk about these complexities more in TV shows than mm. they do in movies. At least with TV shows, you get time to develop a character and it feels yeah. like they do just breeze through the development of a character and they don't give it as much attention as they used to back mm -hmm. in the day. So I'm really enjoying seeing these stories and seeing more of, yeah, like somebody uh, feeling bad about something they did or being vulnerable or saying, hey, I was wrong. That's that's just so refreshing to hear sometimes <laughs> because, yeah, they're they're badass. They're all, you know, super competent people and all that, but they are still human at the end of the day and they still make mistakes. And, and that's what makes them interesting at the end of the day. Yeah, it's very interesting that you mentioned that, actually, because he, for example, John McClane felt like such a well-rounded character in the sense that we got to see a little bit of everything when it comes to him. Right. Yep. We got to see his sensitive side. We got to see his sassy side. We got to see the more casual and then, you know, the badass cop who will do anything anything to fix the situation, right? Very much agree with you. I feel like we live in an era where it's cool to be emotionally removed, mm -hmm. right? To not be sentimental, to not be emotional. We, we call it cheesy. Right. And though I think that there are certain that there are the dangers of certain things coming across as cheesy, but it's interesting. It never it hasn't quite felt like that in most of the movies that we've watched, really. It doesn't feel like, oh, my God, that's so cheesy. I feel like that happens a little bit more with certain 2000s movies. That That's mm. just my feeling where it feels a bit it's the cringy kind of cheese. I feel like we should go a little bit more towards the sentimentality that we had in the 80s and the 90s. Yeah, I feel like it adds more value to the story and more depth to yeah. have a character character that's that layered right because like even the yeah. over the top moments like him having you know a catchphrase which obviously you know <laughs> we have heard the catchphrase but seeing it in context was even better yeah but it was cool like even him like blowing the gun and stuff like it was over <laughs> the top but it, it it's funny you know yes. and it, 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 it adds a sense of humor to the movie more yeah. than us taking it seriously i feel like it's right. worse when you take a situation that's happening that's kind of cringe seriously and then it's like uh, it just yeah, doesn't see? land yeah. I feel like these people had taste with the way that they did humor, how they incorporated humor within the story like that. Yeah. I feel like you got to have a specific kind of timing to know when to crack a joke and to and, and when to take it seriously. And in yeah. this movie, we had everything. We had a lot of humor. We had uh, John being a, a sassy guy and, and hilarious <laughs> and grumpy, like you said. But yeah. we also had him actually worry and care about people and, and being you saw him being vulnerable and loving and, you know, regretful. Yes. And that's I mean, it makes it more interesting, man. We spent yeah, two hours with this guy, pretty much him and Alan Rickman here basically handling the entire show in terms of performances. These guys are carrying this thing. This is amazing performances by both of them. So it's so great to see different layers of the same character because we get to have a feeling by the end that okay we have a sense of who this guy is now speaking of alan rickman man what a charismatic villain my he was God. fantastic like i mean, rest I said in it. peace man any just like, scene that he was in he was absolutely magnetic yeah. he just knew you know and that's yeah. the thing i mean when you're trained in theater man you just yeah. own the camera you can always tell man they they whenever they're going more subtle in terms of acting and the people that can mm. adapt to uh the acting in front of a camera you can always tell because they are the way they carry themselves it's a yeah. certain kind of presence and alan rickman just had that presence throughout the entire movie this this Every scene he was in was his front stage and he was there. He was an entertainer. Everything, his iconic voice, his delivery, his timing, and even the sense of humor, the twisted sense of humor. Absolutely loved everything he brought to his uh, to his character. It's always such a joy to watch Alan Rickman just breathe life to characters that otherwise could have been perceived as one dimensional. Speaking of one dimensional, I kind of like when villains are just villaining without <laughs> some deep backstory about how they're trying to save their sick loved one or they're trying to do this and that or they got screwed over so they now they do this sometimes it's okay for the villain to just be a thief right there's no super deep backstory to it we don't have to justify every single thing that the villain is doing i feel like in certain scenarios it makes more sense to keep most of the focus on your main character and in turn instead of giving us an entire backstory in the villain you make them competent 
right? You make them smart and you cast an actor like this who can add dimension to like a character so that it can feel almost like a like a kaleidoscope so that the character feels real. And Alan Rickman really did that in this. I love that you pointed that out. I think that's some uh, that's one of the things that we see more often now. Movies yeah. uh, that have like, you know, their antagonists or villains, they tend to focus 50-50 and they try to, like you said, justify, give him a backstory, make it a little bit more interesting. And I feel like that is due to, it's all like a pendulum swing, right? Yeah. I feel like that's due to early 2010 movies where there wasn't enough villain development. Therefore, the villains were very weak. So now yes. we have to build them up so they make sense. <laughs> and it's like, you know, yes, that was part of the problem. Yes, they were weaker villains and, and they just didn't land the same way. Yeah. But it was also due to the performances or acting choices rather than having a backstory. And I feel right. like when you're writing a story, you have to understand like now it feels like the villain is a co-protagonist versus just being the antagonist of a story. Very true. If you're going to go that route, which is totally fine, we do also like when we have a competent villain that also has a backstory that we can relate to. Right. But at that point, you are sacrificing a specific amount of runtime, like you said, to explain yeah. his backstory. And then your third act has to be hella strong. And that's the problem. Like we've seen movies that don't go into the backstory of the villains, but the villains are weak in terms of performances and the choices they make are just stupid and don't make sense. And then we've had movies that have a strong developing character. Like they, they take their time to develop the villain, but then the third act is just chaotic. Yeah. Right? It's just <laughs> senseless chaos that just yeah. it doesn't add up. So. This is how you do it. You know, you, yes. you can have a character that you, you know, you don't really go into the backstory. Like you said, right. you don't have to take time from the runtime to explain yeah. anything and they just carry the performance. But of course, in order to do that, you need someone like Alan Rickman, that which is, is a super true. talented guy, which obviously, oh, man. you know, it, it, oh. it's, it's, it's rough out there, man, to find people that can pull off yeah. this amount of charisma and yeah. be the bad guy. But uh, I think we're, we're, like I said, it's a pendulum swing. I feel like yeah. uh, writers have gotten uh, much better at kind of calculating, okay, how much development do do we give a character? Should we not? Should we? So I'm hoping that for, you know, the next couple of years, we should be balancing things out and finding villains and just characters in general, too, that become more vulnerable. We've started to see that more yeah. with male characters, specifically more, uh, you know, fathers that are like, you know, single parents or, you know, they're struggling. And you see that kind of like uh, paternal love and vulnerability more in, uh, yeah. in a lot of our heroes nowadays. So we're kind of shifting back into showing some vul vulnerabilities. However, they are more modernized to what's more appropriate to our times. But I think the more we focus on that, the more we can develop that, the better we'll get as writers into that, you know, the whole, how do we adapt this kind of character, these, these classical characters that we've had for centuries now, the hero, right? The villain, <laughs> how do we adapt them to the times to make it relevant, but not make it too much of a product of our time? It's, it's, a, it's right. a hard balance there where you don't want to like overstep and just make it a complete product because then it feels disconnected. I feel like these heroes and like, for example, John and um, Hans, like they, they're <laughs> both timeless hero and villain. And I don't think that's ever going to change with time so you know there's a there's yeah. a pros and cons to both overall as long as you have a solid story man and you have some good actors and you can nail down the third act and, and the development has been good you're in for a ride and this movie was definitely oh, a ride. such a fun movie man this was such a great time guys i hope that you enjoyed the reaction and yeah. the discussion thank you so much for joining us in this ho uh, holiday movie now we know yes. we i consider it to be a holly holiday movie it's, I think it's, it's totally christmas movie 100%. absolutely guys thank you so much for watching we hope that you enjoy and as always we'll catch you guys in the next one take care see ya